Hi everyone, this is Kzera, and welcome to my series called What's in My Sketchbook. So this sketchbook is the first one I completed so far. Um, usually when I see a brand new sketchbook, I tend to start on it even though I haven't finished my old sketchbooks. So for this sketchbook, it contains doodles, drawings from anime, video games, and TV shows. And let's get to it. So for this page, these are the doodles I created using um, sticky notes and normal black pen. And this is um, Ronan, Jin, Rufus, and Lass. They are from the mobile game I'm currently playing called Grand Chase. So for this next page, this is Lyre. She's from the mobile game I'm playing called Grand Chase. And the rest of these characters, they are just some random characters I created out of boredom. They don't really have a name, I just like how they're created, that's why I kept them in this sketchbook. So for this next page, this is um, this drawing is based on me and I drew her to use as one of the main characters in a original pilot comic I was going to start, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to start it. Um, well, these outfits, um, these are the some of my original designs. Um, this is just a long sleeve uniform, a gloves, and um, just a high heel boot. Again, I was going to use these um, for the pilot comics, and I don't know when I will be able to start it because I have other projects that are um, on my list to do. So for this next page, this is just a quick pen drawing of Alan Walker from the anime called D. Grayman. Um, so for the next four pages, um, these, will, these are the drawings of mine from the video game called Final Fantasy XV. So these drawings are created using color pencils and black pens. So this is Noctis Lucius Calum. Uh, this is just like a quick drawing. I didn't really finish coloring his eyes. Anyways, and this is Prompto Argentum. Ignis Amsciencia. I don't know if I said that right. And Gladiolus Amicitia. So this next drawing, this is 9S from the video game called Near Automata. When I played the game, it actually made me question my existence. But overall, I really enjoyed the fast-paced gameplay. And I played the game in Japanese. And I really love Hane Natsuki's voice. Because his voice made 9S so adorable to play. Anyway, so this is 9S and he's one of my favorite characters. So this next one, this is just a pen drawing I did when I was bored. I drew this on a separate piece of paper and I liked how it was created so I decided to just cut it and paste it on this sketchbook and add some um, extra doodles like flower drawings. So this next character, this is Atreus from God of War which I know most of you know. Uh, this is a pen and color pencil drawing. I haven't really played the game, I just watched my boyfriend play and I love the story and gameplay. And I also like how Kratos always call his son boy. I just found it cute and it actually inspired me to draw Atreus. So this next one, this is Jonas Conwald from the Netflix series called Dark. I love this series and the theme of time traveling even though it made me so confused. I finished watching season 2 and the ending just blew my mind away like I don't even know what is happening anymore. Um, so the actor is his name is Louis Hoffman. He portrayed Hiona so well that I was actually inspired to draw him. So the next one this is actually a drawing of my boyfriend. And I drew this using um, black pens and color pencils. The next one, this is Kanda Yu from the anime called D. Grayman. Um, I drew this using Faber Castle pens and markers. I think it took me about like half an hour to do this. So this next one, this is a 
pen and color pencil drawing of Alan Walker from D. Grayman. And also um, a friend of mine, his, her name is Rose Queen. I drew her in anime version. And again, this is another drawing of my boyfriend. As you can tell, I tend to draw him a lot. Because <laughs> he inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing. Which, which is my passion for art and cosplay. So this next one again is Kanda Yu from D. Grayman. I draw a lot of D. Grayman because it is one of my favorite anime and I just love the story. It just inspired me. Actually, D. Grayman inspired me to draw and um, start my own Dujinshi, which is a fan manga. Um, I just love this series and I wish the author um, Kasura Hoshino, she, I wish she would update the story more often. Um, but again, I don't know when she will be able to go back to weekly release of her manga. So this next one, this is Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. I drew this using markers, um, color pencils, and watercolor. So the next couple of pages is going to be... Um, some chibi drawings that I made for uh, Inktober last year. Um, it's not going to be consistent because I missed uh, some days for Inktober. But for day 7, this is a chibi drawing of Noctis um, Lucius Calum. I drew him exhausted from his adventure. And actually this chibi drawing, Square Enix actually recognized this art uh, because they re retweeted it on Twitter and it actually blew up. I was so happy when that happened because it, it, that was the first time an, act, an actual game developer recognized my art. It was so inspiring and it made me want to continue doing what I love to do the most which is art. Okay, anyway, so for next, for day 8, this is Luna Freya from Final Fantasy XV. Um, this is a chibi style drawing of Luna holding a star. So for next one, this is a chibi drawing um, from the game Monster, Hun Monster Hunter World. So basically this is just a warrior a character I made fighting Diablos. If you haven't played Monster Hunter World, it's a very good game and, I, and um, when I play the game and I fought Diablos for the first time. I was so scared. And the hitbox on this monster, oh my god, it was just, it's, it was crazy. And I, anyways, I just enjoyed the game and it actually inspired me to draw this. So for the next one, this is Iris from Final Fantasy 15 with some chocobos and prompto on the back. Adoring the chocobos because if you haven't played Final Fantasy 15, he loves chocobo so much like he's crazy about it And so for this next one, this is um, a chibi style drawing again of uh, From the game Monster Hunter World. So basically the story for this is um, This is Poogie He's a pig in Monster Hunter World. He just roams around and um, if you don't pet him a lot in the game, he will run away from you. But if you pet him a lot, he will eventually love you. But I noticed the first time I took Poogie in the kitchen, like in the canteen area in the game, he actually ran away because he thought he was actually going to get cooked. And I found that so funny that it inspired me to draw this chibi, chibi style drawing. So this next one, this is a chibi drawing from the game uh, World of Final Fantasy. Okay, and um, this one, this is a original, original drawing of mine. Um, because the theme for Inktober for this day was um, clockwork. So I was, I couldn't, I couldn't, um... I didn't have any idea how to draw like clockwork so what came up in my mind is draw a clockwork armor so this is the result I decided to draw a clockwork armor with a um, clockwork hammer and a clockwork shield 
and I actually really like how it was um, how it was drawn. Okay, and this next one, this is from My Hero Academia, chibi style drawing of um, All Might and Yagi doing the arm wrestling, and of course, you guys know who's gonna win, All Might, of course. <laughs> And this next one, this is Levi from the anime called Attack on Titan. And I I just love Levi. He's I just found him so badass. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I drew him. And as you can tell, um, this sketchbook is bleed not not bleed proof. That's why it's um, the markers bleeds on the other side. That's why I draw only on the other side, and to prevent it from bleeding on the other drawing, I just used a um, blank, like a piece of paper, and put it behind the, the drawing I'm going to color, so that it doesn't bleed through the other drawing. So this is um, Ace from the anime One Piece, and I'm sure everybody knows One Piece. I just love Ace. I love how he was um, created, his character design, and his powers. And I was so devastated when he died. Like, oh, I was so speechless that um, it inspired me to draw him. Um, so this next character, uh, she's from the anime called One One Punch Man, and uh, she's a chibi. Well, she hates being called chibi, but. She's a short character, and I just love her and her powers. That's why I drew her. So, um, for the next pages, um, these characters are from the game called Odin's, Odin Sphere Leftrasir. I played the game, it's a 2D fast action paced, and I really love how the characters were made. Their um, background storyline and um, their powers. So this is Gwendolyn, or Gwendolyn, I don't know how, I don't know if I said that right. Uh, she's a Valkyrie princess. And this is Oswald, the Shadow Knight. This is uh, Velvet, the Witch of Elrit. Oh, I think I skipped another page. I'll get to this one. And this is Mercedes, the Fairy Queen. This is Cornelius, the Puka Prince. And so that it, those, those are the characters from Odin Sphere Life Tracer. Now I gotta go back a few couple pages. Um, this is Mumei and Ikuma from the underrated show called Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress. I really love that show because it's, um, it's set in the steampunk world of Japan. And also there's zombies in it. And who love who doesn't love zombies? I just love how the characters were made, especially Mumei and Ikuma. They have such a strong character and uh, a very good background story, which is why. And I ship them. I don't know if you guys are into shipping characters, but I just love Ikuma and Mumei. So for the next couple pages. These are the drawings from the Grand Chase mobile game. I just love the game and how the characters were made. That I decided to actually draw some of my favorite characters. Okay, so uh, this character, her name is Amy. She's a healer type character. And she's basically like an idol. And that's why her character design is all about being cute and having... Um, a cute outfit and I just like her because she's a very good heel type character I'll get to this one later and this is Lass from the mobile game Grand Chase he's a melee type character he uses a katana to defeat um, enemies this is Rufus he's a um, long range character and he uses dual guns to defeat enemies I'm I'm really into dual class uh, dual gun classes which is why I really love Rufus even though he's not very good at PvP like player versus player 
This next one, this is Jin. He's a melee class. He uses, um, he's like a fist type character. And he uses fist to defeat enemies. He's very good. I found him very good with um, player versus player, which is why I use him in PvP. Uh, this next one, this is Ronan. He's a tank class. If you don't know what a tank class is, it's basically um, a character that can um, handle um, hits, basically. And he so Ronan uses a, a great sword, I believe, and he's very good at uh, PvP. This next one, this is Lei. She's a mage class. She uses a like a dark matter to defeat enemies. I really love how this um, how I drew this. I love how the contrast of colors are. This next one, this is Liar. She's a long range character. Um, class. She uses a great bow. And so yeah, those are the characters I create. Um, I drew from the mobile game Grand Chase. So now let's go back a couple of pages let's to this one. Um, this is Alan Walker and Lena Lee from the anime D. Grayman. I just love this these two characters. I actually ship them. Um, since 2011, I believe. I've been drawing them a lot since then. And I cannot wait until Katsura Hoshino develop more, um, more storyline about like, these two. Because I really believe they will end up together one day, but I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. Anyways, I really love how this was drawn and um, how happy they are. And also including Tim Kampi this golem here okay so the next one this one this is starfire from teen titans if you have if you don't know what teen titans is it's a superhero movie and um, starfire is one of my favorite character that's why i drew her in anime style next is robin again everybody knows robin um, I drew Robin in anime style, and this is my take of him. So this one is a pinup pinup version of 9S and 2B from the video game near Automata. I don't really draw pinup because I'm not really comfortable drawing them, and I'm not good yet at drawing um, like body proportion. I'm still practicing, but this one it turned out pretty good. I, I'm not complaining. So this next one, um, the next couple of pages are going to be about the characters from the video game called Devil May Cry 5. I really love that game. It's very fast action paced. And I, I love how the characters were made, um, like the character designs that it inspired me to draw, to draw the main characters. So these ones, these are just the doodles I've made um, out of boredom using a, you know, a black pen. And so this is a drawing of Nero from DMC5. Um, this is my version of him in anime version. And I really love how this was made. I actually posted a art video on my YouTube channel. Um, go check it out if you're interested. Um, this next one, this is Dante from DMC5. Again, this is my take of him in anime version. Next one, this is V. He's, he's my favorite character in the game. Um, this is my take of him in anime version. Actually, I really love how this um, drawing was made. And how the contrast of colors are and the highlighting. It, I think it actually took me about 3 hours to complete this drawing. So, uh, the next one. This is Dororo and Hyakimaru from the anime called Dororo. It's set in um, historical Japan, and I really love the story. That it inspired me to draw um, these two. So the last one, this is a pencil drawing of um, Tanjiro and Nezuko from the anime called Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayers. Um, I really love that show because um, Hanae Natsuki is in it, and he's voicing Tanjiro 
which is my favorite he's my favorite character so yeah that's it these are this is these are the drawings that are in my sketchbook and i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video of me showing you what i drew and um keep looking out for more videos about sketchbooks and yes thank you for watching if you like this go comment in my channel and subscribe thank you